downtown Huntsville will be extra busy for the next three days. The Association of the U.S. Army Global Force Symposium is taking over the Von Brown Center. The Army, Army supporters and industry coming together to think about what the Army is going to need to defend the nation now and in the future. News 19's Steve Johnson joins us live this morning from the BBC South Hall. Hi guys, interesting stuff down here about what the Army needs, what it's using now. Now, if you see this, you think, okay, that's a tent. Every camper knows what these tents look like. This one, however, is for cold weather use, and it is developed by a, comp a company called Light Fly, excuse me, Light Fighter. <laughs> Mike Cochise is the CEO of Light Fighter. That is not your main product. No, this sir. is your main product, correct? Yes, sir. This is our Light Fighter One shelter, and it's made to go both on a cot, and it also goes on the ground as a full-fledged waterproof tent and it comes in a uh, stuff sack like this so this oh. is it okay so now this sack, is lightweight this, this isn't like the old canvas tents that, no, uh, that uh, soldiers use once upon a time no, sir. this is a extremely lightweight uh, very waterproof fire resistant and uh, just a, a great product that they can set up and break down really quick okay so this is what is in use now yes, and sir. what will be in use for the future but you've got a future product over here that I yes, think sir. you're pretty proud up. Let's yes, walk sir. over here and look at this. And, and what do you call this? This is our new stealth sleep system. So it's uh, a sleeping bag system that's uh, made to handle extreme cold temperature changes. So yeah. this can go, you know, the higher temperatures all the way down to you the. You say uh, higher? Could it, you could be really hot. It could be really hot, and you just you just downscale it okay. on what you, how you use it, and then you can also use it in extreme cold situations. Okay. When you say extreme cold, did you tell me you're testing this at minus 60? Yes, sir. We're trying to get down to negative 60. That's the objective for the for the Army. Um, right now, we're testing around the negative 30. Negative Okay. 40 range, but we, we believe we can get there. Okay, but now then, one of the good things about this, show me the difference between yes, what it takes to carry a sleeping system now and right. what yours would do. This is the current sleeping system that they have right now. It's yeah. very, very bulky, very yeah. very heavy. This cannot get down to the extreme temperatures yeah. uh, right now that we're trying to get at. Our, our sleep system is contained in this Wow. This system right here, and and I and I would imagine that when the military looks at things, portability and lightweight yes, is, is a big yes, deal. So we save three to four pounds, so which is yeah. a big deal for the soldier. We also increase the amount of space in the okay. rucksack by about uh, 30, 40 percent. Okay, and one of the things is uh, you're touching soldiers their yes, everyday sir. lives, aren't you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're we're a, we're a, a service disabled veteran owned business, and we're family owned. So we started the company with all uh, my my brother. And my father and uh, we were all served and we also are partnered with the ability one program yeah. so it's people with uh, disabilities okay. Okay. that uh, manufacture and okay. sew a lot of our products all right well thank you sir thank and, you uh, sir talk about touching the soldiers yes, sir. i guarantee you they like this stuff in any case live at the von brown center i'm steve johnson back to you